Oh, really? Oh, come on. I can just see my isolation disappearing. Let's get industrial automation into my automation. Wormfang Shrine is going to be great. Okay, I'm on the lookout for uh, a nuisance. What do you call it? In uh, near Free Drone Central. Spore launcher. I'll discover down there. There could be uh, could be something really interesting. <laughs> oh God. Hercules, uh, El Centauri B is a perishing perihelion. Good word, and I'll use it again and again and again until it, I use it in the right circumstance. In the next 20 years, we expect night life activity to increase dramatically. And there it is. So what you build? Well done. Out of the way. At least when the capture attempt fails, I uh, get some money. Oh, I can just see my isolation just about to ebb away. Oh, this is getting exciting, this is. I can't wait. Lovely people. They're, they're not going to land, are they? It's just going to fire spores into, into that city until the end of time. I still like capturing them. Oh, hello. Uh, prime function accusator 5 of the consciousness on channel 7. And we'll learn all about them right now. So, uh, these are the uh, cybernetic consciousness. Uh, faction that uh, have the ultimate aim of turning themselves into robots, or at least uh, semi-robot, semi-human, cyborg kind of um, people, led by Accusator 5. Um, I think she's originally from Norway. I can't remember where I got that from. There, he used to be able to get a really detailed uh, database of the background of all the leaders and personalities and what they were before they became faction leaders. On uh, the Fire Access website, uh, they used to have a little bit dedicated to Alpha Centauri, and then you cross to tell you. And I think I either reference it, I've referenced it already, when I mumbled something about websites, or I, yes, I did it when I was talking about the free drones. That was it. Yeah, uh, that site's now disappeared. Unfortunately, Fire Access have um, moved on to newer and bigger and more expensive and flashier games such as Civilization Five. Um, so yeah, I'll just have to do this from memory. Uh, Accusator 5, she had, she had a more normal name back when she was just a... She was a lab worker at um, Zakharov's lab 
uh, then I don't know, fell into a machine or something and bonded with it. Uh, turned into a cyborg and then sort of ran off to do cyborg kinds of things. Uh, and now wants to, uh, yeah, wants to turn us all into robots. Rational objectivity. She doesn't have a left side of the brain anymore, so she can work out maths puzzles, but not creatively. I don't think I'd get on too well with this faction. I'm not a rational kind of guy. Instead of, you know, working and such, I'm talking to, talking about a cybernetic conscious now. Um, or cybernetic consciousnesses. Anyway, uh, well, these, these these factions absolutely huge. Well, like plus two research, plus two efficiency at the cost of minus one growth. Okay, so you can't yeah, you can't uh, pop boom, but you can go democratic and uh, plant economy and children's crushes, and that gives you plus five growth. So you don't get to pop boom, but then again, as the hive or the morganites, you don't get to pop boom either. Uh, minus one growth. Is just, Immune to cybernetic penalty makes sense. Uh, rational choice. But then again, if you get ooh, a certain secret pro pro project, I can't remember just about now, uh, you can do that yourself. You can steal technology when capturing your base. Judging by the way I've set up this game, by accident, anyone can do that. But then again, aren't they powerful enough already? I mean, look at all that. Then they're going to say they look powerful. Just wait till we get to till we meet the aliens. The progenitor factions there are just huge. Um, I don't make fundamentalist choice in social engineering, but who does? Um, so yeah, um, my hope is that they eventually go for. Uh, give me a second. They eventually go for the free market economics that makes them really weak planet-wise, and I can sort of march all over them. Um, in fact, I think, don't think they're particularly strong. Uh, but I don't do anything just yet. I'll give you a little little hint to the future. Also, a, a word of warning. Um, I seem to recall, as I was doing this, I was very tired. And I don't say anything particularly interesting or particularly enthusiastically. And I don't do anything other than build up my economy. Uh Trust me, once we get to the next episode, things pick up. Um, but if you've got a lot of stuff on and you just, you know, you want to be an exciting game to watch, uh, narrated uh, in a lively, witty and entertaining manner, uh, the next 30 minutes might not be your cup of tea. Anyway, back to me. Waste of my bloody time. Anyway, let's see what they've got to say. Uh, oh, cooperative. As they, as I mentioned, they tend to be until you get to the uh, later game. Hey, months have passed in terms of might. Mm, my tales of your exploits. You have a prime function accusator five of the consciousness. Pay to suppose rationality and order on the inhabitants of this chaotic planet. No, uh, you, you, you go, mm, sister bot. Um, former colleague Ma. I didn't think you need to update to your uh, diplomacy text, love. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, um, love bot. Um, he was not a former colleague of mine. I've never met uh, this conqueror Ma of which you speak. Uh, and they're not declaring war. I'm not declaring war on. Um, Aliens? Huh? Yes! Doctrine of flexibility. I'll give you a, whatever you want. Uh, well, yeah, why not? He held his arm too stiffly. Beautiful. So now I can get those, uh, get the foil and going. Last, I his uh, no, don't care. Uh, well, yeah. Technological advance is an inherent. Field modulation. They are more advanced than the uh, consciousness. Uh, you recently demonstrated an enhanced left brain activity. Probably the new guy for. Have I? 
A future friendship would be exponentially increase our mutual capabilities. Submissive, hang on a second. I don't want to uh, limit myself here. Uh, your conclusions are irrefutable. A treaty is the only rational path of our people. I prefer my right brain impulses as in this one. I kid eight to five. You can use what's left of yours. Uh, no. No, because uh, I'm doing perfectly well in terms of I've got 315 energy. Well. Maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't. Let's see what the drones have to say about that, shall we? And where they are these days. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is this is just crazy. If I wasn't the planet cult, this this would be hell on it. This would be hell this would. You won't be able to discover anything, because it, you know. You won't be able to discover anywhere, because going through fungus is nasty. You'd probably be forced to do green economics, just so you could... Yeah, go for some C4s. Yeah, just so, so you could go through the fungus quite easily. Mm. Now do you see what I'm doing? I'm gonna... The trouble is, I've got a lot of cities, but they tend not to have. Uh, yeah, they tend to be uh, lacking in population or indeed food resources. Apart from that one, that's doing great. And of course, kelp farms bring in three, whatever the weather. See formers. And now that I can build that, I've, I've got no problem with planting forests everywhere. I think so too. You've had plenty of warning. I'm afraid. I should have thought, thought of that before being um, unhappy. How rapid that growth is. Uh, some more seed formers. on with. Well, might I might get a request for some money from all the planet pearls. I mean, they may revere the planet, but you know, they've got a certain uh, um, self-preservation to think about. Which I was in my new book, Voyage Between Planet for Fun and Profit. Mm -hmm. That's great.
Ooh, now let's see. This is a more, more general sense. There's a ball launcher between Freedrome Central and Invictus, and I think I've just worked out where it is. Building formers, uh, ooh, no, change my mind. Put, put a C in front of that, and we've got ourselves a deal. Fairly interesting. See, so they're, they're so having such trouble exploring. There's always uh, pods that are just not being uh, collected. Still Nothing finally um Empath Guild. I might stop building my own mind worms because of course they do double police duty. How long did it take to forty eight turns? Righty. Cybernetic territory. I bet she doesn't like me now. No, she's still magnanimous. A wuss. They weren't so expensive, mind wound. Once I get an intro industry set up, I'll be sorted. But uh, in the meantime, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. turns, it's a long time.
Oh, hello, I found a um, an interesting character. I shall tell you about now. All right, yeah, don't make the don't make the cubes too obvious now, will you? God, I'm an idiot. Anyway. Uh, these are one of the two alien factions of the game. I say aliens, probably ought to call them by their proper names. Uh, these are the progenitor, one of the two progenitor factors, factions, um, who are um, beings, advanced beings from another um, part of the galaxy, I think. Uh, strange, strange alien beings, and the only reason they're not overwhelming us as we speak. Uh, in this game, of course, I don't think they—I don't think they exist in real life. I can't be sure. Um, it was because they lost most of their technology and most of their know-how when they crashed into planet. There's two factions, and the only re only way they s they are stopped from um, taking over all of the humans straight away is that the two factions can't stand each other. Uh, they are always at war, um, and that's not—that's not like a oh they all hate each other. The game makes it so that you, they, the two of the sides can't make peace. They are stuck in a centuries old um, a centuries old civil war uh, that they've this feud that they've carried on through down to planet. Um, we might put into more detail once we meet the uh, the other side of the conflict. And it's all to do with how to use the manifold. The manifold is an experiment that this play this this pla this race developed centuries and centuries ago, of which Alpha Centauri is manifold number six. Um, now these people, there's another faction that wants to stop uh, transcendence and preserve the manifold experiment to the sort of na to the natural um, to, the, to 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 the natural way it was before uh, humans or aliens arrived on it. These people want to exploit the planet. They think the manifold experiment has gone too far. Um, oh yeah, this is the thing that you learn in this game that all this colonizing you're doing on the planet. It's actually somebody else's experiment. These are like six greenhouses that this this alien race developed over the course of uh, millennia, and Alpha Centauri is just one of them. These people think that the um, experiment's gone on long enough and want to use the Xenofungus uh, to a attain transcendence. Uh, the other alien faction can't transcend because it's, it goes against their their viewpoint. They're called the caretakers. These people are called the usurpers. Uh, they arrive four years after everybody else, and they arrive in a blaze of glory. If you ever see the introduction movie to Alien Crossfire, that's how they arrive. I'm sure you can search for it on YouTube. You're on YouTube now. Go search for it. Uh, why not? I'll wait. Cool. Good, wasn't it? I, I certainly enjoyed it. Um, so what, what, what have they got? Well, being an alien faction, they get a lot. Nobody knows where they come from. Uh, this fellow's called Judah Mar. Very little about him. Even that website, that Firex's website that's taken down now, doesn't know much about these people. Uh, agenda Subvert Planet for Galactic Domination. Oh dear. Look at what they start with. Progenitor Psych, Centauri Ecology, Field Modulation, Applied Physics and Biogenetics. Uh, so immediately they've got a good good third, two thirds of the initial level one techs. Plus one gro growth, plus one morale, minus one planet. It's unusual considering they're part of the race that created the planet. The caretakers get plus one because they want to look after planet. These people don't care. They want to grasp planet and use it for their own means and planet's not happy about it. Plus 25% offensive combat. Uh, just, just thrown in for the, uh, just, just make it a bit more overpowered. Free recycling tanks in every base. Uh, get money for all, all the um, energy, energy grid from all the um, infrastructure of the base, and the more base facilities they get, the more money they get in return. Uh, start the game with a Mark One battle ogre and an extra colony pod. 